Hello everybody, my name is Kerry McConnell, I am the PR and Marketing Manager in the RDI Hub and this is an RDI Hub first because Liam Cronin, the CEO, has agreed to be interviewed for our podcast. So Liam, for anyone who doesn't know you, you're CEO of the RDI Hub, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, hi everybody, delighted to be here today, um, innovating from the edge of Europe as we are here in Kerry. Um, my name is uh, Liam Cronin, I'm the CEO of the RDI Hub. Um, I've been here now in the RDI Hub for almost five years in June. Uh, prior to that, I worked for three years in Trinity College Dublin in the Adapt Research Centre. I was commercialisation director there, connecting industry and academia. And before that, I worked for Microsoft for 25 years. Uh, numerous roles in Microsoft involved in product development, operations, marketing and, and competitive analysis. Um, prior to that, I basically went to college, university in Limerick uh, for five years, uh, did a postgraduate diploma in, product, in uh, computing and a uh, Bachelor of Arts in Business and Administration. You have a, you have a background in the startup world yourself, haven't you? Do you want to tell us a bit more, bit more about that? Yeah, in my last um, years at Microsoft, when I was a contractor, I basically set up my own uh, startup company called Right to Sight Technology. Um, it was a collaboration with Dr. Kate Coleman, who was an ophthalmologist in uh, Blackrock Clinic, and John McElligot was there uh, to support us with commercialization. So uh, we would, we developed a cataract surgery simulator to walk through the stages of cataract surgery. And I suppose what was interesting about that project is we developed a really nice proof of concept. But when we went out to do the market research, uh, we realized there was a gap in the market, but there wasn't a big enough gap. So a really interesting lesson learned that I share with all of the, the startups that I talk with on the NDLC or the HBAN programs that we're involved in here is to do your customer discovery as early as possible and really validate that there's a market there before you go developing the product. So you've actually walked the walk as well, Liam. <laughs> I've walked the walk and yeah, expensive <laughs> and walk. Felt the, the walk. Pain. I felt the pain. <laughs> so that's where you got the that's where you got the bug. That's where you were bitten with the startup bug. Um, and so you ended up in the RDI hub, so which was our gain, which is fantastic. Um, lots of big stories in the hub in recent weeks. Can you tell us about the latest news? Yes, we've had some really interesting uh, announcements in recent times. So I suppose first one would have been the Microsoft collaboration. So um, we announced that in the last few weeks. Uh, we did a really good event here on the 16th of January on Generative AI for Business. And on the back of that, we've collaborated with Microsoft to run AI master classes on the last Tuesday of each month. We're calling them AI Tuesdays. Uh, we did the first master class back the end of February, 27th of February, on demystifying AI. And then we had the second master class last Tuesday, uh, 26th of March, on G the Microsoft Copilot. And the next masterclass coming up will be the 30th of April on the UAI Act. So uh, we're delighted to be involved in this cutting edge area. Uh, we say that AI is in our DNA here in the RDI Hub because uh, the founder of artificial intelligence, or who coined the phrase artificial intelligence, John McCarthy, was born five miles from the RDI Hub here out in Cremont. So we've always honoured John McCarthy with an AI summer school each year. So now it's great to be doing the AI masterclasses. I suppose the other couple of big announcements in the last few weeks for us here in the RDI Hub has been the RDI Hub Virtual Hub. Uh, so we're really proud of this offering uh, where we can basically now connect with, with, with members that, are, that don't have to be physically present here in Kilorgan, that can be from any part of our nationwide or worldwide, uh, can connect and really get fantastic content that's up in, in the virtual hub. So we're really, really happy about that announcement in the last while. And then I suppose last year we were successful with uh, securing Interreg funding for the DBEST project, which stands for Digital Innovation for the Blue Economy and Social Tourism. And we've been having some really good meetings on that project um, here in Kilorgan, but also in Malaga, because we've partners from across France, Spain, Portugal and Ireland uh, using a triple helix model of university business, um, so business uh, incubator like ourselves and the tourism associations. And I suppose ultimately we hope with this project to support 80 micro SMEs on the digitalization journey. So, so exciting times with the AI masterclasses, uh, with, the, with the virtual hub. Uh, and with the DBase project to name just three initiatives because I love the power of three. <laughs> don't we know it? <laughs> uh, Liam, I suppose for people who don't know about the RDI Hub, um, the RDI Hub is sector agnostic um, and it was specifically set up that way. So we've got members from a, a wide variety of different industries. So can you tell me a bit about how you think this has helped the sense of community that we have here? 
Yeah, I, I think being sector agnostic has, has been fantastic in terms of bringing people together to collaborate and to network together. I suppose the common denominator with all individuals and companies that are here in the RDI Hub is that they're here to create new products and services that lead to technology jobs in the southwest of Ireland. And that's our, our vision and mission is to support these companies uh, on that journey. And, you know, we have an entrepreneur in residence, Hugh Reynolds, that works very closely with these member companies. We have a panel of mentors and uh, we have a very experienced experience or the I hope team now um, across you know, programs, operations, marketing, uh, business development that are here to support those teams. And I suppose it's all about helping them on their journey to secure the future of Kerry because I suppose the way I look at Kerry nowadays is it's it's now University County uh, with the Munster Technological University. And if we can create these really interesting companies that are creating amazing technology jobs here in Kerry, um, the future generation will no longer need to leave Kerry. So they don't need to go to America, to Australia or to New York or, or London. They can stay here and, and build a really successful technology ca- career here in the kingdom. So that's the main objective, really, of the RDI Hub, is to secure the future of, of Kerry to creating these new products and services and technology jobs from these sector agnostic companies that are here in the RDI Hub. That's fantastic. Um, Liam? Recently, we marked four years in business and we launched the virtual community. So speaking about all the the elements of community and what we want to create for the future, can you tell me a bit more about the thinking behind the virtual offering? Yeah, I suppose for me with the the virtual hub offering, it's it's that always on offering, you know, like where, you know, wherever you are, any place, anywhere, any time that you can actually go onto the RDI Hub Virtual Hub and access the content that's up there. And there's amazing content up there from from the different events that we've run, from the different podcasts. Um, you know, you've you've access to regular updates from our mentors. You can set up mentoring one to one sessions, uh, and you don't physically have to be here. And I suppose one area in particular that I'm really interested in is is connecting with with Kerry people all over the globe. You know, whether you're you know if you're not necessarily based in Kerry and you don't have the opportunity to come in to the RDI up here in Kilorgan, but you want to stay connected with us if you're in Dublin or you're in New York or America or Australia, that you can connect in through the, through the virtual hub. I think it's also going to create this really strong sense of community where you know if you're working from home and you have a question you can just put it up onto the website or sorry onto the the virtual hub uh, website and you'll get your question answered there and stuff like that so it's really about building that strong sense of community strong sense of connection and and this one team that we're all here together to support each other on the journey we're going that's fantastic Liam um, I just want to ask you now, with the, with the announcement that the government is scouting a number of locations in Dublin to host an ambitious new technology incubator campus, what are your thoughts on the opportunities for Irish startups right now? Yeah, I think it's never been as good and as exciting a time for, for Irish startups. I mean, you asked the question earlier on about when I had my own startup and, you know, back then if you had a startup you know, as in Kerry or Limerick or Cork, you had to go to Dublin to get support. You had to go to the Guinness Enterprise Centre. That's where NDLC was based. I mean, now we have support in the regions, you know. So if you're a startup in Kerry or Donegal or at let alone or wherever, you can get those startup supports that you actually need, which is really, really good. I suppose in the last 12 to 18 months, we've now added the HBAN, the Halo Business Angel Network. So in terms of getting funding support, it's available to you again regionally. Uh, we're covering... Uh, Limerick, Kerry and Clare uh, through NDRC and through HBAN, which is really, really good. Um, I suppose for me at the moment, the big challenges that startups are having that we can support them on are what I call the three Ds. So one is around digitalization and supporting comp- you know, startups and scale-ups in their digitalization journey, whether that's using AI or augmented reality or virtual reality. I think the second challenge that a lot of startups have is the whole area of decarbonization, and that's all around the whole aspect of sustainability. And again, we have a lot of expertise here in the hub, a lot of companies doing work on sustainability. Our partner, FEXCO, doing a lot of work on sustainability, as is Munster Technological University and Kerry County Council. And then the third challenge that a lot of startup and, and scale-ups are having is the whole area of diversity and inclusion, and again, hiring for those for at a very diverse organisation. And if you look at some of the initiatives we're doing, here in the RDI Hub, like the STEM Passport, which is all about supporting female entrepreneurship and helping you know girls from disadvantaged areas to to understand what STEM is and get a level six certification on it uh, and go on go forward in and get a, a STEM career in in, in Munster Technological University. That's all about supporting diversity and inclusion. So very exciting times for for startups, um, and you know we're we're here to help in any way we can. That's fantastic. 
Uh, Liam, I have to ask, for, uh, for a man who is notorious for, for uh, shying away from the limelight, what was it that actually prompted you to do your first podcast? Well, I think, first of all, I keep walking past this room, this amazing <laughs> podcasting studio we have here in the RDI Hope, and I was like, it, this, this opportunity is on my doorstep. And um, I think, you know, I want to become more active on LinkedIn. I want to become more active on social media. I really want to be seen as a thought leader. And I suppose the lessons that I'm learning as I'm out there attending events are the lessons I'm learning here in the RDI Hope from talking to our, to our own team, to talking to our members, talking to our partners, FexGo MTU, uh, Kerry County Council. I just want to be able to pass some of those insights on and, and, and pass on what I'm hearing um, from, from, from events and from what I'm hearing locally and stuff like that. And look, the opportunity to use the amazing, amazing technology we have here um, is just couldn't resist the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but the technology is amazing. But I think one of the things that comes through quite strongly when we're walking around the hub is um, the stories. There's so many stories here and that people don't necessarily know all the different things that are happening here. So I suppose, you know, can you tell me about kind of the stories or the projects you're most proud of at the moment? Yeah, look, I think every individual company has their own stories. I mean, it, you know, we've always talked about wanting to create the next FEXCO here is, is the RDI Hub ambition. And, you know, I think we've gone a long ways towards doing that with Taximo. Um, and, you know, their acquisition by Vertex Inc., I think, was, was just amazing. Um, I see a few more potential Vertex Inc.s and FEXCO in, in outside and um, what we're doing. I think I get really excited when I see how companies now here in the Hub are using AI because we're an AI centre of excellence here, the RDI Hub, and seeing how certain companies like Graphite Note and others are using AI to accelerate the sales pipeline is, is just really, really good. Um, and then I think the other stories that really in, that excite me is the whole sustainability and decarbonisation. Um, you know, even the story behind us here of our own solar farm and how that's helping us to save on electricity and things like that is a really exciting story right now. So, um, you know, the beauty, I suppose, of the RDI Hub and the innovation and creativity we have here is every day is different, you know. So, like, I could walk out of this podcast studio now and meet somebody that has another amazing story. But uh, And that's that's the great thing about here. It's all about, you know, throwing off the coat when you come in here and, you know, thinking creatively, thinking differently uh, and doing innovative things. But um, I suppose they, anything around AI really excites me at the moment. So Liam, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you back to your rule of three uh, and I'm going to ask you, what are you most excited about in the next three, six and 12 months? Yeah, so when, when I think about RDI Hub, I, there's probably three things in particular that excite me at the moment. So if I start locally and I think about the Southwest here, June last year, we set up a Southwest Smart Manufacturing Consorti. We brought like 20 companies together and little did I know 12 months on that that initiative would still be going and that these companies would be coming back every two months to hear about different topics. And we're delighted now on the 24th of April, our next topic is going to be around digitalization and sustainability. So, so I'm excited about that and, and the insights that can bring to the Southwest Smart Manufacturing Company. So that's locally. I think nationally, we've been involved now for almost two years on working on a digital media marketing apprenticeship program, uh, which I know you're involved in also, Kerry. And it's great to see that that's almost there. Like it's at, it's at QQI approval stage uh, and we're going to be going in front of the, the, uh, so the board of Solus uh, to get that approved, hopefully in April and May. So, And I think that's really needed, that digital media marketing apprenticeship program, when you look at the developments happening around AI and digitalization in general. So really excited to get that uh, apprenticeship over the line and get it rolled out across across the island. And then I suppose the last area that I'm always excited about is, you know, I suppose when I went to Brussels, for, Brussels first three years ago as part of the Startup Villages Forum, nobody knew what Kilorgan was. Nobody even knew what Kerry was. And, you know, we were explaining that, oh, we're, we're in the RDI hub in Kilorgan on the edge of Europe. And people were looking on the map and goes, wow, you actually are on the edge of Europe. But we go there now and they go, oh, there's the Irish guys. You know, you're the guys that won the Digital Innovation for Blue Economy and Social Tourism Project. You know, we're involved in the Startup Villages Forum. We're doing a lot of work with the European Innovation Council. We've got a European Innovation Council badge. Um, we recently submitted a Horizon Europe project on food diversity. Uh, and we last week submitted three Interreg Northwest Europe projects as well. So, like, we're starting to be really well known in Europe, which is great. So, like, going from what's happening locally with Southwest Manufacturing to national with digital media marketing to European-wide uh, with, the, with the European Union projects we're working on, I think it's really exciting space for us. That's fantastic. There's so many really fascinating projects that are happening at the moment. Um, 
so many stories to share. It's it's great. And thanks for taking the time to, to share these stories with us. Um, if anybody's interested in reaching out or finding out more, what's the best way to contact you? Yeah, so look, um, liam.cronin at rdihub.com or you can contact me on my mobile number as well, which is 87 and please send me an email. I'm always respond. So I hope this wasn't too terrifying and we'll bring, bring you back for another podcast in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, Liam. Much Thanks, Kerry. I'll see you in a month's time. <laughs>